All right, week three of season three of the Fanatec GT3 Challenge Fixed Series. This week we're at Brands Hatch. Fun, fun track if you can find the rhythm, and that's the challenge of this track. Is uh, there are places that it will bite you if you aren't in rhythm and sync with it, <laughs> and and a lot of people find that out the hard way, especially if you put them under a little bit of pressure. So it can be a fun track from a. Uh, a clown jump scare kind of perspective <laughs> that I enjoy in my racecraft. Um, so this is actually the second race I'm going to show you here uh, of the week. The first race um, I did on Thursday, and uh, it was a good race. Um, I was in a higher strength of field race. Um, it was a 1.3k strength of field. I was car number 15, which means that I was uh, towards the lesser end of uh, the I rating scale um, for that race. And uh, qualified P10, finished P8, um, and uh, I had a good look at a top five and, and didn't manage to pull it off. So um, it was a good race. Got positive I rating, positive safety rating, zero incident race. Was really happy with that. However, um, the race that I did today, Friday, was uh, a better end result for me in terms of points, in terms of position, so I wanted to share that with you as well. Um, oddly enough, um, although my I rating has been steadily increasing, this was a lower strength of field than what was the race on Thursday. Instead of 1.3k, it was a 900 I rating um, uh, field, and I was uh, car number two. So... Watch and enjoy. Um, it's a fun race. A lot of stuff happens all the way up until the very last lap. So uh, definitely watch the full 20. If you uh, do like the video, make sure to, to click on like. Make sure it shows up in other people's feeds. And if you want to be notified of when I release new videos, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and enjoy. Of course, I always love comments. So if you have suggestions, thoughts, uh, you just want to hate on somebody, feel free to comment. Um, they are moderated, so they don't show up right away. But uh, typically, unless you know you're you're calling me something horrible or or saying something wholly inappropriate, um, you're comment will show up on the video within a day. Thanks a lot and uh, enjoy. Thank you. Anybody else smoking green? Ta -ta. The air temp is 63 Fahrenheit P5. <laughs> It's not the kind of question you expect to hear in a race. Follow car number 11 in the left column. My Christ in heaven, guys, why are we checking up like this? How's the fuel gauge go up? Elevation with the tank.
Okay, Chip, stay calm, focus. Green, green, green. Just hit me. Look at these people crashing. There's an incident in Sterling's, it looks like Dennis. Incident in Surtees. You think it might be Anderson?
front is now 1.8. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0 0.41 of the pace. Alright Chip, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel.
OK, Chip, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. He's gone off in Sterling's bend. Fuck. Had nowhere to go. Okay, Chip, just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P3. Sector 3 is 3.8 seconds. Off the pace. behind the gaps now 4.8 seconds Chip, the next car is Taylor. That's five minutes to go. Come on, keep it together. We'll be on the podium here. Thanks so much, mate. There's an incident in Graham Hill Bend. is now 5.1 seconds.
think P4 has gone off in Graham Hill Bend. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. There's an incident in Westfield. It looks like it's Taylor. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Come on, Chip. Keep pushing. We might get him back. P3. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Incident in Westfield. Looks like it's Taylor. It's all about holding your sand. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Podium finish, nice one. All right, um, 9.32 strength of field, and uh, that is bottom split. Disappointing race overall. Um, uh, well, disappointing in some contexts and, and not in others, I guess. Uh, lap one, turn two, guy behind me didn't realize he needed to brake going into that turn and rear-ended me, so immediately I'm carrying four incident points, so any hopes of safety rating gain are gone at that point. Um, a little bit later in the race, P3 had uh, a little bit too much pressure applied maybe from behind, I don't know, um, spun, um, and couldn't figure out which way he was going because he changed directions a little bit. He didn't uh, do what you're supposed to do. What are you supposed to do, boys? You're supposed to hold your brakes, both feet in. Jesus. Anyway, he didn't. Um, I could not get on my brakes uh, fast or hard enough to avoid contact. So another four incident points. So a total of eight incident points, which 
took a point, a 0 0.35 hit in the negative direction on my safety rating. Never a good thing. Although I've got, I've got some stuff to spare. It's hard to gain once you're above four. <laughs> it's easy to lose, but it's hard to gain. So um, that's uh, unfortunate. So uh, bummer. Um, but I did start P5, finished two. I was the number two car in field. I gained 66 I rating points. So I did get a little bit of a bump there. Not horrible. Um, wasn't super fast, but was steady, and uh, that's all she needed um, in terms of driving. And, and I drove through essentially two hits, which isn't bad either um, in terms of car control, is that I felt both hits, um, and they may have sent a, an earlier version of sim racing me off track, um, and uh, both I was able to avoid major damage and carry on with the race and still perform. So all in all, not a bad deal. Thanks for watching. Spaß macht Rennsport.